of Molly Ringwald. Now, what is the deal? Let me ask you, what is the deal with the Brat Pack now? Is the Brat Pack, is that thing completely dissolved now? Do you guys keep up with each other? You know? Is well, there a newsletter that you can... <laughs> I was never really sure what the Brat Pack was, to be honest. I mean, it, the... the the phrase was coined by a, a clever writer when he went out to dinner with, I think, Judd Nelson and Rob Lowe and, and Emilio Estevez, I think. Right. And then sort of everybody that was in those movies became like, a Brat Pack member. So. Right. There was a time, like, in the, I guess it's the mid-80s, where that's all you would read about is the Brat Pack went here and yeah. did this. The Brat Pack ate a sandwich together. The Brat yeah. Pack yeah. went swimming somewhere. Yeah. Well, you know, we did... A couple movies together, but um, but I didn't really hang out with a lot of those people just because I was younger at the mm -hmm. time. I mean, when I did Breakfast Club, I was uh, 15, 16 years old, and they were already in their They're 20s. They're all much older now. Judd Nelson well, is in his late 50s now. <laughs> I think. It's true. No. He's on Medicare. It's no. true. No, 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 no. He's had both hips replaced. I'm just no. telling you. No. You've been away. You don't know what's going on. I'm just oh, telling that's you true. stuff. No, but but I I was quite a bit younger. So when they were going out, you know drinking and, you know, doing crazy stuff, I was going to school, so. Okay. So. And you think there'll ever be a big reunion where they, they get, you, you guys are all in your 80s or something and they get you guys together and you. It could happen. Yeah. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll wait. Know. We'll look forward to that. All 60 right. years from now, that's going to be good. You got started very young, didn't you, in, in show business? You were in Annie, is that right? I was, yeah. Okay. I didn't play Annie. I, oh, I was just you were one Daddy of the... Warbucks. <laughs> no, no. no I, Who I was, were you? I, I, would was... say, I would think you were Annie. You mm, looked like Annie. No, me. no. I was one of the orphans. I was just one of the, the chorus. Oh, one of the kids in the back. Yeah. Oh. And wh how old were you when you got started doing that? Um, I did that when I was 10 years old. Mm -hmm. I started when I was, um, well, I started as a singer because my dad, um, Bob Ringwald, is a jazz musician. So mm -hmm. I started singing with him, and then that kind of led into plays, and then that led into movies. and. Now, was that pressure when you're a child star? I mean, or, or when you're a child getting into acting, you actually have to worry about if you have a growth spurt or something like that. You know when you watch the, the old Brady Bunches or something and Cindy suddenly had that growth spurt and looked... Yeah. It got scary there for a yeah. while. <laughs> it really did. People were frightened. But yeah. what I'm saying is, is that a hard thing to go through? Is that, you know, were you worried about that when you were 10 years old? If I grow too fast or don't grow fast enough? Well, I, I think it was, uh, it was a problem, obviously, if you, if you grew. I mean, when you were all the, there was the littlest one and then there's the oldest orphan. And I was, I started out as the second to the littlest and then sort of the more you grow, the oldest one gets booted out, and then the next one <laughs> takes over, and then... So it's like Menudo, know. kind yeah, of. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. Yeah, exact it's a good same system. thing. Yeah, and so once somebody got to be the oldest orphan, they knew, okay, in three months, I'm going to be one inch taller, and then I'm out. So yeah, it is a, a lot of... Business. Yeah, it's a lot of pressure for a young person. So when your feet start to really get big, you know you're in trouble. Yeah. Because that means you're going to have a gross... Did you grow very tall? Because you're quite tall. Well, I grew six inches in one year, that year. That hurts. Yeah. That's really, yeah. Yeah, but then I stopped after that. I sort of reached my full height at about, you know... 12 or 13. I grew, literally, I grew like a foot and a half or two feet in a year. Well, you never stopped. I mean, I'm you're, still going. <laughs> you're yeah. still going. I was bombarded by radiation. <laughs> <laughs> Government test site. Yeah, it's not pretty. But it's not bad being tall, right? Well, it's really hard when you get tall that fast because at one point in my life, I was six feet four, 155 pounds. Mm. And that's, it's just, it's like a puppet in a big parade, you yeah. know? Yeah. It's just, they called out Japanese tanks to shoot on me. It was, did you ever think about basketball or anything? I mean, I was into, I was interested in basketball, but you know what? I found out you need coordination. <laughs> it's something I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, I was like, I showed up and I was like, I'm six foot four. Let's go. Let's <laughs> let's get started here. And then they realized I was a freak mm. and it couldn't go on. <laughs> I'm not winning you over with this stuff, am I? <laughs> Women love to hear this stuff. All right. Well, there was, uh, I guess, 19 in in the early 80s and into the mid 80s, you were really the quintessential. American teen, I think, mm. for a lot of people. Mm. What kind of pressure is that for you? Is that? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I mean, it, is, it, it, is that has to be some kind of odd pressure because everybody sort of projects their ideal, you know, teen onto you. Did you mm. find that to be a pressurized situation? Well, it was just funny because I was always trying to be something else. I mean, I, 
I guess the success of those movies were just because the the characters that I played felt so out of place, and mm -hmm. they were always an outsider, you know, ugly duckling and all that. And I guess a lot of people feel that way, so I sort of became the poster child for that. <laughs> and um, you know, which isn't so bad, you know. No. But, uh, but I mean, the, I mean, the sixteen your character in Sixteen Candles, so many people latched onto at the time and said, "I know what that's like." Yeah. You know? Yeah, it, it wasn't really that much of a pressure. I mean, I, I thought it was not. It was just funny. I mean, when I saw people cutting their hair like me or dressing like me, it was just, it was just funny because I always picked other people to to emulate and to you know like Diane Keaton and Annie Hall was my idol when mm -hmm. I was uh, that age. So I was trying to look like her, you know, and probably she. I don't know. She was probably trying to look like someone else. But you know, everybody does that. There's very few people I think you'll meet that say I'm great. I'm perfect the way I am. And you know, except for you, maybe. Yeah, that's right, know. yeah. I don't say that a lot. <laughs> no, <laughs> I wouldn't no last long in this world if I did that. Is that, by, by the way, this is just just a quick question, but the song, we were talking about this in the break, but the Sponge song, Molly, 16 Candles. Yeah. Everyone's saying that's about you, yet there are other people saying it's not about you. Do you know if it's about you or not? Uh, I don't know. I mean, uh, the song's called Molly, and they talk about 16 Candles. I mean, right. one would think, you know, but uh, but I don't know. There's no uh, there's no proof, and I don't know the guys who wrote it. So I like the song, though. Yeah, because cool if, if it is about you, you should get some money coming. <laughs> <laughs> and no, I'll split well. it with you, because I right. brought it up. <laughs> okay. All right, well, let me make sure I mention uh, the French comedy. It's a film that you did. Uh, you, you pronounce it, because I'll make a fool of myself. Uh, the, it's yeah. your movie. Enfant Salo. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Enfant Salud. Is that Enfant Salo, yeah. Okay. All right. Very nice. All right. Well, thank you very yeah, much. Okay. I like it when you speak French. <laughs> Molly Ringwald, everybody. Fran Leibowitz, Big Audio Dynamite coming up. It's a good show. We'll be right back. Stick around.